Hey friends, welcome to GizmoFest. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. If you have any of these iPhones, then chances are you are running low on space. So today I'm going to share two ways in which you can manage storage on your iPhone without having to buy a new one. So let's get right into it. You can manage the storage on your phone using iCloud. For that you need to go to settings. Tap here to go to the iCloud menu. Then we'll have to go to the iCloud section where you might have to purchase iCloud storage from Apple. This will also solve the running low on iCloud storage issue. Tap on manage storage. Here it will show you which storage plan you are on and by default it should be 5 GB. If you want to change just tap here. In my case it's showing 50 GB since I've already upgraded. So here gives you a 50 GB plan, a 200 GB plan and a 2 terabyte plan. If you don't want to purchase any of these plans we might have a solution for you. The idea here is to find and delete any unnecessary backup files. Here it also shows app wise usage of iCloud storage. Click on backup and wait for it to open. I don't have any unnecessary backup files. If you do have they might show here or here. So let's suppose this is the backup which you want to delete. So it will take a while to load and then in the bottom you will get an option to delete the backup. You can press here to delete the backup and it will free up space on your iCloud account. Since I have only one backup, I will not delete it and I will hit cancel. Now for most of the people, photos take up a lot of space. Even in my case, as you saw before this. So let's find the photos menu, open it. If upload my photo stream is turned off, turn it on. Upload burst photo or iCloud photo sharing is not that important here. So let's get back to the top. And here you will see two options. Optimize iPhone storage deletes the original photo from your iPhone and keeps it on the iCloud at full resolution. Download and keep original keeps full high resolution pictures on your iPhone and this is probably the reason for your iPhone storage getting low. By default it will be checked on download and keep high resolution. Just change it to optimize iPhone storage. This deletes the photo from your phone giving you the required space and don't worry all your photos will still be there on the iPhone. The only difference you will observe is that you will see a throbber at the bottom of the screen which will appear somewhere here. It will take up time to download the photo from the iCloud depending on your data connection. The second way to free up space on your iPhone is Google Photos. For that you need to download Google Photos from the App Store if you don't have it already installed. Go to search, type Google Photos and it should give a suggestion. Yeah, there it is. So download it. I already have it downloaded on my phone. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. You need to go to the assistant tab. By default, it should open with that tab. If it doesn't, just press here. What you basically need to do here is to enable Google Photos to automatically upload all the pictures. To do that press the settings icon over here and make sure that automatic backup is turned on. Now all you have to do is wait till the backup is complete. To check if the backup is complete open the Google app and press on the photos icon and make sure on the top backing up is not showing there should not be any items left. Wait for the items to back up and when the items have backed up now you can clear space by pressing here on clear space. It will give you a warning just make sure that your photos are backed up then only proceed. So there you go after this uh, you should have plenty of space on your iPhone. So that's it for now hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.